Our topic was not these economic terms. Our topic was the cost of electricity. So do you think we should do it in the next video? Or no, let's say we do it over here. So the cost of electricity, the cost of electrical energy generated can be defined as. So the cost of electrical energy basically is divided into three parts. The first part is the fixed part. The first part is the fixed part. The second part is the semi fixed part. And the third one is the variable part. The third one is the variable part. Now let's see what do we have. So the fixed cost is independent of what this is. Independent of the maximum demand PM and the number of units E in kilowatt hours. So this is independent of both. Yes, yes. The semi fixed part, this depends on what the maximum demand in the kilowatts region. It is independent of the energy units produced. Whereas the variable part, this depends on what? This depends on, on the energy units produced. That is the kilowatt hours. So these are, this is independent of the maximum demand. The first one is independent of both. Now I will tell you what the book states, which what is included in this. So the fixed cost is the cost which is independent of the maximum demand and the units generated. This is due to the annual cost of central organization. The fixed part is the annual cost of central organization interest on capital cost of land interest on capital cost of land salaries of high officials So I believe this is it. The annual expenditure of the senator high official is fixed since it has to be met. Okay. So let us get the capital cost of the land. So the capital cost of a land is fixed. Capital cost of the land is fixed. You have to pay a fixed interest on that. Either you are uh, smalling, uh, you are installing a, a small power station, a larger power station. Having a smaller maximum demand, having a larger maximum demand. Generating smaller number of units, generating larger number of units. The land is the same. The capital cost on the land is the same. The interest on the capital cost is the same this would be included in the fixed part this is what this is fixed the interest on the capital card is fixed central organization you have an organization set up you have buildings for that you do what you have buildings you have offices and you have the higher officials, the managing directors, the project directors, the CEO of the company. If it is operating or not, the some few higher level officials are there. They have to be there. They cannot go. And similarly, the central organization is already set up. It has to be there. You have to pay the bills, etc., etc. So this is what these are the things that you have to pay. Independent of the energy units produced, independent of the maximum demand, independent of the plant operating or not, you have to play this fixed part, right? Yes. The next would be the semi-fixed part. So this depends on the maximum demand. And is dependent of the independent of the units generated. This is directly proportional to the maximum demand on the power station and accounts for the annual interest. Okay, so so this accounts for what I will tell you. Account for the annual interest and depreciation. Interest and depreciation on capital investment of building and equipment on capital cost. of building and equipment taxes salaries taxes 
salaries and management of clerical staff so this is what is included in the in the in the semi fixed cost now this depends on the maximum demand pm so so this includes what the interest and depreciation on the capital cost of the building and equipment so how is this dependent on the maximum demand so for instance you have a higher maximum demand you would have a larger power station the building would be higher equipments would be uh, would be larger larger capacity more efficient equipment would be required as the as the maximum demand increases so the semi fixed part this is directly proportional to the maximum demand or you could say the installed capacity of the plant right similarly taxes the more you are uh, generation no sorry not generation the higher your demand which means the more equipment required the higher equipment required the larger equipment required the larger is the taxes taxes by the government import duty sales tax etc etc salaries and management of clerical staff so the larger the power demand the larger is the power station and the more number of clerical staff required so the higher the number of cell required for the clerical staff the maximum demand on the power station decides what its size and cost of installation the maximum demand on a power station determines the size and the cost of installation of what of the of the power plant the greater the maximum demand power station the greater is in size and cost of installation further the taxes and clerical staff depends on the size of the power plant and hence on the maximum demand yes yes the third is the variable cost that is the running or operating cost so i will not write it variable we will study we will write it variable in the tariff so i will write over here the running or operating what is the book written running or operating cost yes now this depends on the number of electrical energy units produced in kilowatt hours the more the energy units produced the more would be this cost this include what this includes the cost of fuel fuel yes yes the more the energy units required the more fuel required lubricating oil of course again directly proportional lubricating oil then you have maintenance you have maintenance you have repairs and salaries of operating stuff repairs you have salaries of operating stuff so this is what is included in the you want to generate more number of units you would need a larger number of fuel large number of lubricating oil large number huge maintenance of course the power plant would be active for more time more work is being carried out you need more repairs more maintenance you need more operating staff so you need more salaries for them also so which means what that these are all in the running or the operating costs and depends on what the energy units produced directly proportional to them since these charges depends upon the energy output the running cost is directly proportional to the number of units produced in other words if the power station generates more units it will have a higher running cost and vice versa yes yes so this running cost i would write running cost and this is directly proportional to the number of units produced e right yes how do we express it so i would write the expression of the cost of electricity expression of cost of electricity how do you express it how do i express it so the overall cost of energy generated by a power station is expressed in two forms number one is the three part form number one is a three part form 
and number two is the two part form so i have made this video very very long very very long i will try to uh, to split it okay from here the cost of electricity i'll try to split it yes yes so the three part form what do you do the overall n1 cost of electricity generated and divided into three parts fixed part semi fixed part running part so in the three part form you you do it what as a cost a plus b in terms of dependent on the maximum demand in terms of kilowatt plus cost c dependent on the energy unit in terms of kilowatt hours this a is the fixed cost is constant b is the semi fixed cost this is the proportional to the maximum demand and the other is the variable cost and this a will write in rupees right yes a is the annual fixed cost b is the cost when multiplied by the maximum demand gives the annual semi fixed and c gives the running cost the next is the two part form in the two part form what do you do the, the cost of electrical energy is in rupees a times kilowatt plus b times kilowatt hours so over here what do you have this a basically sums both small a and small b and this capital b represents the small c which means that this a has included the 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 fixed cost as well as the semi fixed cost right it is sometimes convenient to give the annual cost of any two part form annual cost of any joint two parts a fixed sum per kilowatt of demand plus running charge of electrical energy so this is again one is depending on the maximum demand the other is on the units so these are links with the tariff as well right so you would be knowing that this we are talking about the tariff so we'll study it in the next video so i believe i finished this video over here why because it has got very long so you can uh, you have the methods of uh, uh, you know determining the depreciation so the first one is the uh, straight line method straight line method the next one is your diminishing value method diminishing value method and the third one is what sinking fund method so i'm just writing the names of them and the rest is your thing whatever you want to do it ask your economics teacher about them so i will finish this video over here and i will see you in the next video with a number of examples so till then take care of yourselves everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye